Yo, what is up, guys? It's Will Metal and I'm back with another video again, guys. As always, guys, um, this has been a huge achievement for you guys. Getting the 400 subscribers was the best day of my life. So, yeah. Okay, so let me tell you guys something. So, I did the top five most likely winners of the men's Royal Rumble. So, now, I'm going to do the top five women's winner, lucky winners who will win the women's Royal Rumble. So, uh, without further ado, guys, uh, here we go. Well, guys, make sure you go ahead and hit this video with the likes. Subscribe to my channel, guys, haven't already. And put the comments down below who you guys think will win the world, the Women's Royal Rumble. And also, guys, hit that, hit that notification on, too. Alright. So. And also, guys, make sure you, and also, guys, I want to say thank you guys so much for 400 subscribers. And, uh, and, you know, give me the 412. I'm finally pushing back. To, you know, get my chance to get the 500 subscribers. Alright, so make sure you order to get this to 500 subscribers, guys. So, uh, without further ado, guys, um, let's go ahead and get to number 5. So, we gotta go ahead and go to number 5. Let's go to it. So, number 5, I would go ahead and say, I would say, Payton Royce. Peyton Royce, yeah, because see Peyton Royce, because you know Peyton Royce had never won a Royal Rumble before. She was a former women's tag team champion. She never won the Raw Women's or the SmackDown Women's Championship. So, um, so, if Peyton Royce can just, so if WWE can push Peyton Royce by winning the Royal Rumble and face Oscar for the title, it would make her the Raw Women's Champion. Are you no, I'm not and, uh, yeah. If Payne the so yeah, number five is Payne Royce. So number four, Charlotte Flair. Cause Charlotte Flair, she won the Royal Rumble before, and she's, I think she's gonna win it again. Cause she won it for, in 2020 by eliminating Shayna Baszler. And, is, is it going to be the time for her? It might be a time for her to win the Royal Rumble again. So, yeah, number four is Charlotte Flair. Number three. But yeah, no, nah, let's just keep talking about Charlotte Flair. Okay, Charlotte Flair is the queen of WWE. So, you know, she can show the whole women's division that she's the best of all time. But, all because of her dad now, she's hanging out with Lacey Evans. Who's really not gonna win the Royal Rumble? Yeah, I'm talking to you, Lacey. Yeah, you're not gonna win that Royal Rumble all because of you and Ric Flair. But I'm thinking Charlotte Flair might win this because she's trying to give this message to Lacey Evans for messing with her dad. Number three. Number three, I would say Reckoning. You see, she really wants Oscar so. Bad. So, cause she keep talking, she keep talking smack about her on every exclusive interviews of Monday Night Raw, but she never faced her. So yeah, Retribution. Where's Reckoning? Why she ain't facing Oscar? Why she's not facing Oscar? So why is Reckoning not facing Oscar on Raw? And because she keep talking trash about Oscar. I call her a pink dancing clown and a clown who always making jokes. So she so it's cause Reckoning wants to wants to run the WWE division to prove her that she will wreck everything. Every woman. Even if there's Mercedes Martinez and Aaliyah and all that. So, yeah, I'm thinking number three. This might be Reckoning. This might be Reckoning's time. Number two. Bianca Belair. The EST of WWE. Because, you see, on NXT, she won the Battle Royal on 2020. By eliminating Io Shirai. But. This might. There might be. This might be. 
Bianca Belair's time. Because now, this Friday, she'll have an obstacle course against Bailey. And, but since, when, since Bailey over here talking smack about her, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking she, that Bianca Belair or Peyton Royce or Reckoning or Charlotte Flair might get uh, okay, no, I just went number four, but this. Number four is Charlotte Flair. Number three, no, number two. Number two is Bianca Belair. I'm sorry, y'all. Number two is Bianca Belair. <laughs> Here, right now. So, yeah. So, yeah. So, yeah. Number two is Bianca Belair because she never had her title opportunity. So, yeah. That's what I'm going to say. So, yeah. Okay, so yeah, Bianca Belair, because everyone wants to see Bianca Belair go up against Shasha Banks. Okay, yeah, so I think Bianca Belair might win this match, and, you know, and face Sha 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 Banks, Shasha Banks. Yeah, so, maybe if that... Maybe if Bianca Belair wins this match, she'll prove Bailey and all the other women's division that she's the EST of WWE and the EST winner of the Royal Rumble. And I'm thinking Bianca Belair might face Shasha Banks for the SmackDown Women's Championship at WrestleMania. All right, so let's get to number one. Number one, because I don't know Carmella wants to face Sasha Banks. Because everyone knows that since Sasha Banks um, wants Carme wants to face Carmella, if Reginald uh, have to face her in an intergender match. And yeah. And yeah, since. Be um shot Carmella's getting her top two. I won't be adding her on the top one list. But who I am gonna put on number one is number one. Shayna Baszler. Gee, you gotta talk about Shayna Baszler. She was the longest reigning NXT Women's Tag Team Champion. Bro, she been defeated since. You know, she got beat up by Kari Sane and Rhea Ripley. But, this could be Shayna Baszler's chance. Because she lost her title to Oscar and Charlotte Flair at TLC. And she lost her NXT title against Rhea Ripley. So, now thinking this, Shayna Baszler might be the one throwing people off the top rope. And eliminate Charlotte Flair, just like how Charlotte Flair did to Shayna Baszler at the Royal Rumble in 2020. So, will this be Shayna Baszler night? So, who? So he, these are people who are picking to win the Women's Royal Rumble. Peyton Royce, Charlotte Flair, Reckoning, Bianca Belair. And Shayna Baszler. Cause so the reason why I pick Shayna Baszler because you know she got a limit by Charlotte Flair. And since her tag team partner Nia Jax, I'm thinking she's gonna get eliminated. I'm thinking Nia Jax will get eliminated. So yeah. So Shayna Baszler's gonna toss people all the way to the ropes, and then she'll be known as the Queen of the Royal Rumble. Spades. So, well, all of my top five picks of the Women's Royal Rumble will win in 2021 Royal Rumble. Well, just gotta find out on January 31st. So, that was, okay, guys. So that is it for my top five Women's Royal Rumble. I'm glad that WWE Backstage is back on January the 30th. And also, guys, we're almost on the road to the Royal Rumble. We're almost on the road to Royal Rumble, guys. So, yeah. Can't wait. 
So yeah, I can't wait to see Backstage returning. And, um, you know, can't wait to see them, you know. Can't wait to see my top five people who I choose for the Men's Royal Rumble. And the top five people who I choose to win the Women's Royal Rumble to win. As always, guys, thank you guys so much for listening and watching Mega Flint, guys. As always, guys, make sure you hit the video with the likes. Subscribe to my channel, if you guys, haven't already. And put that comment down below. Who are your top five picks to win the Women's Royal Rumble and, and the Men's Royal Rumble? And turn that notification on, too. As also, guys, they also thank you, and also, guys, I want to say thank you guys so much for more, for, getting, for me, for getting more subscribers for my YouTube channel. And, uh, yeah. Love us out, y'all. Peace.